Before I spoke a word, you were singing over me. Hallelujah, uh, people of God, I greet you all. We thank God that you have met once again. Today be a very wonderful day, a very beautiful moment. Uh, we bless God for our life. Uh, today, by the grace of God, we are going to look at episode 7. That is Bible Doctrine 7. And Bible Doctrine 7, you are going to look at justification. After you have uh, repented, you have made your restitutions to those that you have offended. And what we need now is what? Justification. To justify yourself what, by God. So without wasting my time, let's have a word of prayer. Our Lord and Master Savior, we thank you once again. We thank you for the life you've given unto us, O oh Lord. Your children have gathered again in order to seek you for to learn your word, O oh Lord. Lord, is our prayer that Lord you give us the understanding. You give us the spirit to understand that we can study that word and understand it and use it in our daily life. We thank and bless you, your name. Jesus now free. Amen. So as I said, today we are going to look at what justification. And when we say justification, what comes in mind? Justification in relation to what to Ababi Doctor to God. What is it? When you talk of justification, we said God's word teaches that justification is God's grace through which one receives forgiveness and remission of sin and is counted righteous. When we see justification, you are being counted as what? Righteous before what? God. Through faith in the atoning blood of Jesus Christ. When we see justification, you become what? Righteous. What? Righteous before what? Before God. Through what? Faith. We believe, we trust God, and we believe in God. What? Through what? Faith. And he said, having thou being cleared of every guilty of sin after being cleaned with what every guilty of what of your sin the regenerated stand before god as taught as though he had never sinned and not on the basis of any personal merits but in the light of what christ had uh, accomplished for mankind by his substitutional death on the cross of Calvary. So when we receive what sanctification, we become totally what free from anything. Uh, we become what we become righteous before God through the atonement of what of Christ Jesus. It look as if you have never what sinned what before did. Um, moreover, I said justification is the act of God. When we say justification, is the act of God's grace through which one receives forgiveness and remission of sin and is counted righteous before God through faith in the atonement of what Jesus, what Christ. So that is what meant by justification. When we see justification, you become what righteous before what before God through faith in the atonement of the blood of what. Of Jesus Christ so for us not to waste time let's look at something in Psalm 32 in Psalm 32 verses uh, 1 and 2 Psalm 32 verse 1 and 2 Psalm 32 verse 1 and 2 he said blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven whose sin is covered blessed is the man unto whom the lord imputed not iniquity and in whose spirit there is no guilt so blessed is the man whose sin is what is covered blessed is the man who the lord has not imputed no what iniquity by the grace of god 
when you receive what uh forgiveness of sin when you die when you do your your uh, restitution to those that have offended before god and man and now we become justified so blessed is he that god has what has taken off all what, all your sin and your sins are no more what recognized sins are no more recognized let's look as we continue on let's look at something at Isaiah. Let's look at something like Isaiah. Isaiah. So, Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18. He said, Come now and let us reason together. Saint, sorry, say it, the Lord. Though your sin be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow, though they be red like crimson they shall be as whole so he said come now let us reason together say it what the lord the lord is calling all sinners the lord is calling all of us to so come now let us reason say it the lord though your sin as what be as scarlet and be white as snow when 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 uh when you become uh forgive when you see forgiveness of sin when uh when you receive the spirit of god when the grace of god come unto you when your sins are being forgiven you become as a scarlet you become as whiter as snow those who have seen snow before snow look like there's nothing no any color than white and the way snow is pure white than no color you understand when you talk of white that's what a snow is so those that have seen a snow before you know the color of snow this is how what you look like this is how what it become before what before the presence of god let's look at something as um at at chapter 13 at 13 at 13 at 13 verse 38 at 13 verse 38 he said be it known unto you before men before men and brethren that through his man is through this man is preached unto you the forgiveness of sin so you know uh through christ okay it is because of our sin that is why christ came to this earth in order what, to die for us he left his kingdom the bible teaches us that christ is what is the king the king of kings you know and because of our sin that's why he left his what his home his beautiful home his golden home to come and die what for our sins so it's so and when he died he, the bible said he uses this blood that was what that was fell on the cross of calvary he shed on the cross of calvary to pay for our sins that is why we no more now use this word animal for sacrifice you understand not all like the old testament that when they sin they kill animal for sacrifice now when christ came to die for our sin he uses the blood to pay for our sins so therefore now what we go before the Lord when we sin, we go before Him, ask for forgiveness of sin, and He forgives us, and we don't go back to it. The Bible said, when your sins are forgiven, you know, you don't want to go backward to it. Woe unto He who what who know the good and the bad and what and do it. Woe unto Him. You understand. So for us what to proceed, let's look at said um though physically present uh, present in the garden of uh Eden, adam and eve died kingdom sorry died kingdom died spiritually and became alliant from god and from the uh, commonwealth of his kingdom after eating the forbidden uh, fruit christ bef uh, therefore became the sin bearer based on the fact of god's provision and uh promises of spirit or scripture um he said and he is the uh, uh, and he is the propitiation for our sin and not for our and not for us only but for the sin of the whole world word so he said by christ finished work of grace solution was provided to the problem of sin to ensure man's reconciliation with God. So God what 
came to this earth after christ has come to this earth to die for us what he uses what his blood to pay for our sin and at that time man has has received what forgiveness of sin and what we we consigned what with god because when adam and eve eat the forbidden what flutes uh, that's where sin what came to this earth then the, the, after they have eaten that word flute, they, be, uh, they, were, they became a vast word distance before what, before man and God. Now, after Christ came to this earth to uh, to, uh, to die for our sins, over they said when he downward received Christ, accept Christ as the uh, as the word, the Son of what God, and what and ask for forgiveness of sin, what we reconcile with God, become what united with God, and God what being our what, our father he said although uh christ's atonement on the cross guaranteeing universal provision of salvation for all mankind this uh, could only be appropriate on personal basis through what faith in what in christ what jesus in christ um jesus so so thou in uh one sense a man is justified by faith without what work in another sense we see how by work a man is justified and not by faith only justification is by faith before god but by the work before men probably understood none is well what mature conclusion so we receive what justification by what by having what faith what in god after we have been repented from our sins after we have what you have received forgiveness of sins uh, we make our restitutions to those that we have offended to god and say i'm sorry god forgive my sins lord receive me cleanse me take off the burdens of lord the, uh, the burdens of sin on me the load of sin that i'm carrying lord take them away uh receive me as your son now after god has forgiven us and have done our restitutions now we want to slip what justification we receive what justification through the through what faith by faith we receive what justification you believed that lord the lord our has forgiven me and you pray for what the grace of god to dwell what in you and that is time when you receive a, a, a justification you become what totally become totally free from sin totally free from all what iniquities now what you are what a child of what a child of god you go uh you don't go back to the word you don't go back to what to your to your sinful what nature uh you, you we are human beings and you know when, when we vomit you see when, when we feel some uh uh body disorder and when we vomit do you go back to our vomit no so don't let us be like what like the dog who vomits and go back when if you're a woman be and uh what you got after you are by the grace of god you have what repent and what and you don't pray that's why we need to pray and read the bible by ourselves you know to understand the word of god so that the devil when the devil comes you will know what it can will not steal our heart from us you will not lure us back to the word we need to what pray and seek the face of god to receive the grace of god to stand and read the bible so that you will not go back to our vomit when you go back to your sin you have what you have go back to what to lift up to what your vomit and it is not good is it healthy to go back to the vomit that what you have bring out is that what goes in our body is what is pure but what comes out that makes what it bad you can't go back to a vomit you understand so that's why you don't need to go back to the word again that's why I pray every day every day pray for the grace of God that God should help you to stand read the Bible the Bible will teach you read the Bible and be the doer of what the God's way and the Lord word will help you Pray every day, seek the face of God, and the Lord will, will never let you down. Pray to God and ask for His uh, grace upon your life. And as He has promised you that by faith you are what receive. Uh, pray to God and you will receive what His justification by faith. Thank you so much. My name is Dr. William. Today teaching is for justification bible doctrine seven the next time you're going to look at baptism after you receive justification it's what baptize so stay tuned and follow uh the episode and god will bless you thank you so much
拜拜。